Hi there, hola, and this is Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. And uh, you sent me an email last week, and you have reached your TOEFL goal. Your original score was 72, so you had 18 points writing, 20 points speaking, 20 points listening, and 14 points reading. You retook the TOEFL a few months later, and you got a score of 101. So 25 points writing, 27 points speaking, 27 points listening, and 22 points reading. My goodness, congratulations to you. Wow. There are students who score over 100 like you, however, you improved in a relatively short amount of time from 72 to 101, and my goodness, that is very, very impressive indeed. So congratulations on your high school. Uh, I focused on studying the foreign pharmacy graduate equivalency exam for several months, and I passed. Okay. Then um, uh, I heard about uh, a pharmacist in Michigan who used Michael's course to improve her TOEFL score, her speaking score, from 24 to 28. She was okay. stuck on 24, and she tried several times to, uh, to score 26, but she couldn't until she registered with... Yeah, this happens to a lot of students, Allah, is they get stuck right around 22 to 24 points, and usually these students who get stuck with their speaking scores, they need to make some improvements in their delivery and once they speak more clearly and they, they begin pausing in the right places and they improve their blending and their tone, then their speaking score goes up. Michael. After that, I decided to register with Michael and I sent him an email to explain my situation. Yes, I remember that email. Michael gave, uh, gave me a plan and I want to say that Michael's course is really amazing. First, it's affordable and it gives you everything you need to improve in all sections. That's right, because that's why I call it the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. It has vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, listening, reading, writing, and speaking sections. So my theory, and I think I have a pretty good theory here, is if you can improve your overall academic English in these seven areas, then you also will be able to improve your TOEFL score. So a lot of people don't even realize this, but my, my course is not just a test preparation course. It's actually a course which helps build your academic English language abilities. Michael told me to, to read about 45 minutes every day and to, to learn the vocabulary words in his website. Yes. And I used to write down the new vocabulary words from my daily reading. And I used to, to read out loud and I used to watch movies also, uh, one important strategy I used on the speaking section is to record my answer more than once. So first I record, then I listen to my uh, grammar and pronunciation, yes. and intonation mistakes, and then I record, I record again and again. And I send my record, my, my recording to Michael. Also... Yes, yeah, so when you send me your speaking practice, just like other students, I will send you back maybe a four or five minute audio uh, file of my, my advice on the practice test that you submitted me. So typically I'll score you from zero to 30 points, right? And then I'll tell you specifically what delivery, language use and topic development problems you need to solve. And that's what you did. So you did the practice and then started sending me audio files and then I started listening to your speaking practice. Uh, uh... Uh, I used to give specific examples on the speaking, independent speaking, and the, uh, and the independent writing, in the uh, so that helped me on the official exam to to improve my score. Yes, and what it does is, is the more specific you are with the examples you give, Allah, that helps you to improve your topic development. 
So I'm always telling my students, when you're in the independent writing section of the TOEFL exam, instead of trying to bring up three or four different examples in a body paragraph, maybe bring up one or two examples and then spend maybe 80 or 90 words elaborating on only those examples without going in too many different directions. And what that does, Awa, is that gives you the depth and the complexity of thought that you need. It shows that you can think through an issue and you can provide an example and you can write about that example or speak about that example in some depth. And that's good. And it is extremely important to focus on the intonation part of Michael's website. I believe that TOEFL graders might ignore some uh, minor pronunciation mistakes because they know that a person who takes the TOEFL is a foreigner like me. Yes. But they don't ignore uh, if you speak like with monotone, without intonation, because they, it, it, it makes it uh, hard for them to understand. Yeah, so I think you're, you're explaining something which is important. The TOEFL IBT human writers who actually score your speaking practice test, if you have a non-native speaker accent but they can understand you, that's not a problem. The problem is when that accent interferes in your ability to be understood. So by varying your intonation, by avoiding any frequent pauses and hesitations, right, and then by pronouncing your vowel and consonant sounds as accurately as you can, it makes you better understood by other people. And of course, that's going to help you score higher. So you can't speak like this in the exam, like the reading messages about. You have to speak, try to speak loudly and to open your mouth widely and speak clearly. Yes, good advice. So as you open your mouth a little bit more, you're more likely to pronounce these vowel and consonant sounds correctly. So that's very good advice, Allah, on that. And I think what you did is good. You practice recording your voice before you took the TOEFL exam. And that's important because that gets you used to speaking in front of a microphone. And then you get used to how loudly you need to speak and how clearly you need to speak and how quickly you need to speak. And then as you sent me audio files of your recordings, I provided you feedback so you could make the necessary changes to improve your delivery, language use, and topic development. So you and I kind of battled together for a while. You sent me the speaking practice, I gave you the feedback, you made a few changes, you reviewed some lessons, and then gradually you improved. Um, also, um, so that's it. And uh, at the, I wanna say that uh, in my last exam, I remember a guy who has been taking the TOEFL for three years and until now, he didn't pass. Uh, and sadly, this is the situation of many, many students. They take the TOEFL exam over and over and over. They spend thousands of dollars. But between the TOEFL exams, they don't address the problems they're having. They just take a whole bunch of practice tests and then pray that they're better but they haven't addressed the issues that are holding their score back. So that's what my course does. My course addresses the weaknesses that you and other students might be having. And once they make those weaknesses or strong points, and then they retake the TOEFL exam, they're gonna get higher. I think that people should seek help from a, a, a professional teacher like Michael, because the, that, that really saves time. Uh, Michael saved my time. I believe I, it is true because you can take five or six TOEFL exams over a period of a year or two, and that's very costly, or you can enroll yourself in a 60 or 90 day TOEFL course, and you can work out whatever issues you're having, and you can solve those problems and get the practice you need so that you can reach your target score. So very good advice. That if I didn't take uh, Michael, if, if I didn't register with Michael, it, it might take me like two years or three years to pass the TOEFL. And some students, Allah, they never reach your score of 101. Never. They, they practice or they study for years and years and years, and they still do not do what you did. Uh, at the end, I want to say, I want to thank you, Michael, again. You are the best teacher I've ever had. You're welcome. 
And remember, a teacher is only as good as his students, and you, my friend, are a great student. I provided the materials to help you get better. However, you had to complete the lessons. You had to do the practice tests. If you hadn't done any of those practice tests, you would have not have made the improvements you did. So I'm, so uh, you're welcome. I'm happy that you're one of my students and also thank you for all of your hard work and your efforts. And especially thank you for doing this video. Even though I've, I've, I've never met you, I, I'm, I'm planning on visiting you in the future in California. And if you thank come you to again. California, my friend, we'll go out to dinner. Yeah, hi there. Yes, I will be more than happy uh, to go out to dinner with you. We can talk. And that's the key, see? We don't have to meet in person. See, a lot of students don't get this, is you can enroll in my online course. You can start going through those self-study lessons. I provide you the email support. I provide you all of the grading of your pronunciation, Hello. speaking, and writing practice tests. And even though we may not meet in person, we have still worked together as a team. And uh, you did a terrific job on that. So thank you very much, Allah, for uh, the video that you've done. Uh, I think a lot of students are going to watch this video and they're definitely going to get enthusiastic and motivated after hearing your success story. And congratulations one more time on having improved your TOEFL score from 72 to 101. Wow, that's all I can say about that. So, and have a great day.